today, despite the policies, calls and measures implemented at both national and inter international levels. Unfortunately, violence against women continues to be a global problem. Tackling this issue with holistic and comprehensive plans and policies required not only the strong commitment of countries, but also the active engagement of such important platforms. We continue our activities in line with the principle of zero tolerance to violence. In this context, with our fourth national action plan on combating violence against women, our efforts continue under the headings of access to justice, legislation, policy, protective and preventive services, and raising awareness. We are increasing the accessibility of counseling and guidance services for victims of violence. We protect our women with hundreds of institutions across Turkey. Through applications such as electronic bracelets and CADES, we respond immediately to incidents of violence in collaboration with our Ministry of Interior and all relevant institutions. We know that early identification of risks in violence cases and activating preventive protective mechanisms is crucial. In this context, we have launched initiatives to create social risk maps nationwide. Therefore, I will be pos it will be possible to identify protective and preventive measures tailored to each city, district, neighborhood, and even family. However, new forms of violence against women and girls are emerging. Technology has facilitated the accessibility to new threats, turning the Internet into an unsafe space for women. Cyber violence is defined as an offense under various provisions of the Turkish Penal Code. We have implemented mechanisms and channels that victims of cyber violence can apply through legal regulations. As we embrace the opportunities presented by artificial intelligence, we must also address the new risks that are emerging. Dear participants, as we consult on the future of women, we cannot ignore the violence women and children face, especially in conflict zones. Unfortunately, as global conflicts and violence continue to escalate, women and girls bear the greatest burden. The world must not remain silent in the face of Israeli aggression from Gaza to Lebanon, which is turning the entire region into a zone of insecurity for all. I would like to emphasize once again that we are committed to combat all forms of discrimination and violence against women and girls as we commemorate the 13th anniversary of the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action. Let us renew our commitment to create a world where every woman and girl can realize our potential. As I conclude my remarks, I wish that our meeting will lead the beneficial results for the future of the world. Thank you for your attention.